Hi, I'm Nicholas Bertner with Working With Nature. Today, we're on a client site in Crowley, Texas, and it's a very unique site that we had just recently put earthworks on. We're next to, we're next to somewhat a busy street in an urban, suburban area, so I may need to start and stop talking a few times. So what we've done, this particular 1.9 or almost two acres of property has had a difficult time harvesting water because if we'll pan the camera this way, we could see there's a large berm that has been created by the city to capture water for drain off of this road. So none of this water was getting onto property. None of the water from the road was going onto their property, which was good for civil engineering as you didn't want to flood your house. However, bad for water planning. So what we've done is we've created a diversion drain that taps into the city's drain. A diversion drain that taps into the city's drainage system that gets the road runoff from not only just on the property, but from a half mile to a mile up this road. We get this whole water runoff. We're stopping it with this small gabion, which we're still in the process of building. This slows the water from both sides and redirects it through this diversion drain that I'm gonna walk through here. This is the same level as the bottom of a swale that if we pan the camera around here, water comes from the city's engineer drain through our diversion drain into the bottom of these swales. This is maybe half an acre of land, quarter to half an acre of land. We put two swales on and we've connected them together with a level cell spillway. So this is really remarkable use of using the city water distribution and harvesting it so we can get it onto the property where we can then build food forest systems and long-term food security. Uh, let's, let's walk over here to the level sill spillway. So what we've done here is we've created a spillway called a level sill spillway. So since these were newly designed swales, which basically have gotten rain almost immediately, they've kind of picked up some of the loose dirt and as you can see, already are putting it over the spillway. So what happens is we take the dirt from inside of the swale, move it over to make the berm. A portion of this, depending on the size of your property, just normal ground. We don't do anything with it. And then we restart the berms on the other side. So this one is about a, this one's about a six foot level sill spillway. So as these swells fill up, because they're level on the bottom, as they fill up, the first exit point is going to be the natural contour of the land. So as you can see, we had a team out here that helped us do this through a permablitz, which was really awesome. And what we did to make sure we didn't put a berm here is we put these stakes down. So we left it alone as it is. Once it spills over, then it gets captured by the secondary swale underneath it. This particular design for this, this uh, homestead is it will eventually go into the backyard where we're going to create a, a large mandala kitchen garden and it redistributes back into a secondary diversion drain that the city created. So we're capturing water from the, the, the city's diversion drains harvesting in our land and then designing it to re go back into the city's diversion drains. Really good concept here, good piece 